Hello, I'm Nick from the Roses Theatre, and whilst we wait to welcome you back, we're bringing you two minutes of roses. And today, my guest is star of stage and screen, the very, very lovely Leslie Joseph. Hello, Leslie. How are you? Good morning. Hello. Nice to speak to you. I'm nice loving you hair. Too. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm just trying to keep up with you. I know. This has gone really wild. Oh, well, <laughs> it's what it is. How is lockdown treating you? Are you keeping active? Are you strictly come dancing around your living room? Uh, do you know what? I'm, I'm actually quite enjoying it. Um, although I had a lot of theatre work lined up this year, it's been quite nice to actually force myself to stop and just smell the roses. I mean, it, it, it's so easy to get so busy, especially in our business, because you never know where your next job is going to come from. So actually to be told you have to have some time off is good. It's been really interesting because I, I felt I've reconnected with so many people. And also I've done things like writing letters, which we don't do now. We text, we WhatsApp, we email, we phone. We very rarely put pen to paper. So I, I, I've sort of really enjoyed writing to people to saying, this is something you have now to keep. And uh, people have really loved that. Um, you're a bit of a, a walker, uh, as am I. Um, in fact, you walked all the way to Rome, or at least a good part of it. Tell me, did you really wander into the Vatican and say hello to the Pope? We didn't wander in. It was very strictly regimented. But we, we walked, we have to walk the last 100 kilometres on the Via Francigena. And the first 900, you sometimes go in a bus, a car, uh, or walk. When we got to Rome on the Tuesday, uh, we were told, you've got half an hour with the Pope tomorrow. And we all went, no, don't be, you're joking. But we did. So we went back. Age, and we went into a room and uh, the Pope came in <laughs> and, uh, and we sat and we talked to him for half an hour I made him laugh and I ended up blessing him. I mean it, it was completely surreal, rather <laughs> wonderful um, and when we got outside most of us burst into tears. It, it was an extraordinary experience and one I think if you said nay the highlights of your career that would be one of my top three. You should have borrowed his costume. I understand that, had it not been for this strange, strange year, you would have been playing Mother Superior in Sister Act no, up and down no, the UK. I'm hoping the thing lost, it's been delayed for a year. So we're talking about re-rehearsing again round about next March or April. Which oh, brilliant. is great because it gives a whole year and you know, one has to think positively. You know, they got through the Spanish flu, they've got through other pandemics, we'll get through this. Um, and just have to hope that uh, theatres can take us still. I mean, I, I, I really do think theatre will bounce back from the, the state it's in now. I mean, and what is extraordinary, you know, people get home, they switch on Netflix, they switch on television, they listen to the radio, they read a book, you know, they listen to music. The arts are at, at our, in our souls. You can't not have the arts, otherwise what's the point? Birds of a feather. You are yeah. back on the telly. It's being repeated not only on Drama Channel, but on ITV in prime time yeah. and top yeah. of the ratings. And on UK TV, I think they've been streaming it from episode one, which was 30 years ago. So Good heavens. How does it feel to be top of the ratings with a character you first stepped into 30 years ago? Well, do you know what? It's extraordinary because I think it was one of the first shows that had three women playing the leads and also... I remember after the first episode, um, we had about 300 complaints because Pauline said something like bloody. You know, <laughs> when you think of Game of Thrones now, you think bloody, okay. Um, Good heavens, how risky, yes, quite. I know, very risky. But it, yes, it's been extraordinary. I mean, I remember after the first episode, uh, my father, who was alive then, said to Morris, um, do you think this will last? And, and he said, you'll be here in 10 years. We said, 10 years? And 10 whole are. years. But I think it, 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 it's testament to some really wonderful scripts and um, just, a, I don't know, an atmosphere, a, a relationship between the three of us, which has been sort of unbreakable, really. Um, this is on behalf of the Roses Theatre in Tewkesbury. May I ask, when did you last receive roses? Gosh, do you know, I don't know. I can't remember. Um, most flowers that I get now don't seem to have roses in them. They seem to be lots of lilies and I had tulips the other day. But I have got a Leslie Joseph rose in my garden. Have you? Which we uh, launched at Chelsea many years ago. It's not made anymore because I think you go in and out of fashion. But uh, I have got a Leslie Joseph rose in my garden, so will that count? That's delightful. And they've been wonderful this year. I don't know whether it's because there's so little pollution so I don't know, but the roses and the lavender have been absolutely amazing. 
Yes, gardens have flourished. Um, we've got squirrels in our garden for the first time ever, which is nuts. <laughs> you've been waiting to use that you've done Chekhov you've done Shakespeare everything from Calendar Girls to Godspell and Young Frankenstein to the vagina monologues is there a genre of stage work that you're yet to explore but you'd really really like to well I tell you what I'd love to do I've never worked in the national and I would love to do some Chekhov again um I did Chekhov and Shakespeare quite early in my career and then I sort of found musicals and went down that route for a long time but I love Chekhov um, and I love Shakespeare. And I think those two, I would love to do again, somewhere down in Bath or, you know, somewhere where you can just really indulge and think, oh, this is heaven. So yeah, that's what I'd like to do. Superb. Um, you're also well known for your panto appearances. You've been the Cinder's fairy godmother several times, the evil queen in the yeah. Snow White. Uh, did you have a panto lined up this year? Will we see you next year? I did, and um, I'm not even thinking about that at the moment until somebody, uh, I get too upset at what's happening because I love theatres in my heart. Um, I did Birmingham Rep last year, and that was glorious because we had all the Palladium sets and costumes. But I mean, panto works if it's big or small. Panto is, you know, as long as you do it from the heart, it's great. Yeah, I did have one lined up this year and I just don't know what will happen. I mean, you know, hopefully it'll burn out and we'll all get back to normal very soon. Well, if you could wave your magic wand and make oh. Panto come back to us this Christmas, we'd all be very grateful. <laughs> um, this is it. Thank you. This was Two Minutes of Roses. Uh, we'll see you next time. Leslie Joseph, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Mwah.